What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, The Ones Who Live, episode number two. And that was an absolutely fantastic beginning to this series. Oh, I agree. It was so good finally seeing Rick again, hearing from Rick. But, I mean, then the episode started playing out and you really started feeling for him. Yeah. Because the whole episode was centered around him trying to get away from his situation. And the CRM has him working. He's part of the community trying to put in his time. And we met Okafor, who I'm really kind of sad that he died so quickly. I am too. I, I thought he was fantastic. Yeah, I really like that character. I thought he was really interesting. He was brought in as a B. They let us know that A's and B's and A's are usually ones eliminated because they're too much of a risk because yep. they're strong leaders and stuff like that. So Jadis called him a B, kept him alive, and now he's in this program and Okafor's trying to transition him because things need to change. And you constantly see Rick trying to escape over and over and over again. And it was like, I think they mentioned like four escapes. Yeah. That's where he like chopped his hand off, which yep. that was pretty wild. And I guess it was a callback to comic book Rick because I guess the governor took his hand off in the comic book. Which is interesting. I don't know. So pretty interesting to see it play out in this show. And it I thought it totally fit the narrative. I thought it made sense. Yeah. He was so desperate to try to get away and he would watching literally do anything. And watching that parallel between him doing that in this last episode and then the whole idea of what Negan almost made him do to Carl. Um, I what? thought that parallel was just really interesting to see how that played out. And then this dope like hand that he got with like this dagger. Yeah. Pretty buddy. cool setup. But then by the end of the episode, you'd see Rick essentially kind of giving up and he's like, fine, I'm in. I'm going to do this. And he's flying a helicopter, which for someone who's tried to escape so many times, I think that's a pretty dangerous position to put the dude in, in a helicopter, flying it. That guy could just take it wherever he wants right. and do whatever. But hey, you know, there's a lot of trust obviously going on here. But Okafor gets shot through the window with this projectile and then he Wild. ends up exploding. Uh, yes. Thank God. Gross. Whoever shot that, whether it was Michonne or whoever she's with, thank God they didn't hit Rick. Honestly. Because holy yeah. shit. <laughs> That was insane. Well, I mean, it's not like she would ever, like, know who it was. Right. Because he exploded, exploded. Yeah. I mean, that was... There's nothing left. Shocking. That was yeah. one of those shocking moments, like, oh, damn. Nothing left or everything left. I mean, it's all splattered all over the place. But irrecognizable. Yeah. So then Rick ends up crashing, and then you see this figure wielding a katana. It was like, holy shit. Yeah. That's Michonne, and she's proceeding to kill all these folks, and she did take off the helmets of the others, yeah. which, interesting, and then it ends up being Rick and Michonne, and then, cut. Yeah. Damn it. But I love, you know, I love that, like, she found him, you know? I mean, we've been waiting so long for that reunion and for them to find each other, and then... I mean, you knew it was building to that. Yeah. I wasn't sure if they were going to give us a reunion now or if it was going to be like a few episodes. I, I, I figured, love that they did it right yes, away. Yes, I figured it would, honestly, that they would like really draw it out for a few episodes. I love that they did not. Yeah. Because it's Thank like, you. okay. So much. We got the Rick story. They met. Now we're probably going to get the Michonne story. Again, we don't watch any promotional material. We don't know what the hell's going on. But in pretty common Walking Dead fashion, we get one side of the story, then we'll get the other side of the story. So we're going to see what Michonne's going through, I would assume. Which, and, awesome. And then it's going to lead and connect to their story, and then we'll probably go episode three with them together, figuring out what the hell's going to go down. But that's kind of where my head's at now. And those flashbacks that we got with Rick and Michonne, too, yeah. where, I mean, they weren't flashbacks. Dream sequences. Yeah. But there was a message in there, and Michonne was clearly in those dream sequences, giving him clear messages about not giving up, to keep going, and keep I believe in back. you. Keep coming back, keep coming having lunch with me. So yeah. that, I feel like, helped drive him and kept him going on his journey. But those hurt a lot, watching that, because it was such a nice, peaceful, non-apocalyptic style <laughs> scenery that we got to see. Yeah. And it was really nice to see them together, and now that they're actually together, I'm wondering what this is going to look like. Is Rick going to immediately get apprehended because he was... An enemy? Oh, God. Well, is Michonne going to get in trouble if yeah. they, like, see also that they're true. together? But he was giving out his coordinates, like, as he's, like, going down, yeah. so... It feels like scary. a lot of potential crazy shit could go down between the CRM and whoever Michonne's group is. And what's going to go down with Rick? What's going to go down with Michonne? I can't wait to see where this goes. That first episode was everything I feel like all of us could have possibly it. imagined. Yeah, we needed to see Rick again, and it was really, really nice. Very well done. So mm -hmm. you ready for episode two? Yes. Let's go. Oh. The... Get 
Gas man, let me help you. Oh my. Dude, so awesome. Holy shit. <laughs> I mean, that looked like the projectile that hit Okafer. I felt like that uh, walker had some gold teeth too. What was going on there? Like those, I think those were just corroded. Oh, those yeah. two. <laughs> it wasn't gold teeth. No. <laughs> Yellow gold. Six years after the bridge. My name is Michonne. I lost someone years ago. Oh my God, hearing her scream. I just found out that he's alive. I saw two people who needed me, your people, and I helped them. No other reason, no agenda. I see what you have and I've still got a long way to go. I need to ask for some help myself. And if you're not in a position to give it, I understand. And I will be on my way. First, I just want to thank you. I appreciate that. Could I have a horse? Just wanted to get to know a little bit about you and tell you about our community. I am impressed with what you have, with what this is. But I'm eager to go because I just found out that he's... You could be an asset to this place. Oh, my God. Give her a horse. I could just go. You saved my sister's boyfriend and my sister. So we should talk about more than just... Just give her a horse. <laughs> if you do find him, you could be part of this community. We have a community. We have kids. Kids who need to see their father. And I have to go. Now, go where? Girl? Mm-mm. It's a place called Bridges Terminal. It's north. You don't want to go north. Not now. Stay with us until the migration is over. Migration? The tri-state area had millions of people before. Now they're the whaling. We don't know why, but this time of year, a lot of crowds, they move south. A couple of months, they move north. It'll be safe then. They say you don't stop for anyone. Ever. Not even your own sister. Trying to save two, we could lose 200. That doesn't sound like a community. Honestly. Wait. I'm out. You know the rear guard tried to stop me from going after them? Of course you do. Because I keep this place going. She was your sister, and they were my friends. We're strong enough to stop. We're strong enough to save people. What the hell is the point otherwise? I mean, Jesus Christ, she was your sister. Nah. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, you just, you friggin' blew into that room, didn't even notice. What the hell happens? Hurt my ankle. I went, I went after both of you. That, that, she saved us. Hi. <laughs> they asked for my help, so I helped them. You want your own wagon? You ride VIP with us from now on, say the word. I don't leave people behind. Yeah, me either. But you're here. Or is this somewhere you gotta be? A place called Bridger Shipyard, north. Well, shit, that's a stupid ass plan. Thanks. Let me get you a horse. You can have your pick. Nah, she can have her goddamn pick. I like Nat. Nat's a good person. Wow. They're just constantly on the move, huh? I mean... It never lets any... Holy, look how friggin' far down honestly, it goes. Honestly, that's wild. But like, with as screwed up as we've seen all the roads, like, how... How do they travel? It's wild. You said one hour. Where's the horse, Nat? We need more than a horse. And I need more than an hour. You ain't got much daylight left. Stick with us for a night. Do your suicide commission tomorrow. Got you one of the best. It's my sister's horse, and she doesn't know it yet. And we can't wait to tell her. There you go, Michonne. Get bounce right now. Oh, he's... Yeah. <laughs> but if you give us a night, give us a chance to equip you, tell you how some of that equipment works, well, maybe you'll survive 30 more seconds of your trip once you hit the Delaware border. One night. And I'm leaving at dawn. Love birds. None of those emergency hides for her. No, we measure. You get to work. I walk her through the scream six. God help her. Then she sleeps, so she can face oblivion with some pep. <laughs> and we do an all nighter. I love Nat. I feel like every community in the apocalypse needs a Nat because I would be far from being that positive and yeah. embracing of people. <laughs> how, how do these How do these animals rest though if they're always on the move? I mean, I'm sure they stop at night. Oh my god, they're gorgeous. Look Thank at this you. spotted one. And the armor, the horse. She looks Damn. dope as hell. They hooked her up. Rick, 
blew up on a bridge and it's been years. Tread lightly, Nat. <laughs> what he said. <laughs> I like these two, and now I like you. I'm not too keen on losing 33% of the people I can stand on this planet, however recent the acquaintance. They leave people to die. Why do you stay with them? I didn't like it before either. It was the same thing then, right? People were left to die. Yeah, but it's not before anymore. I think you're all too smart not to find another way. I guess we're surprisingly stupid, Michelle. Or afraid. I'm glad I met you three. Good luck. You too. The benefit of keeping on the move is that no one could like... Yeah, get you. Zero in on your location. Yep. But on the flip side, it's like you might run into some people on the road. You can still talk to them, and you can show it to them when you get back. I thought this was suicide. It is. I was just being nice. Look at that pony. Oh my god. Choto. Choto. Wow. What a nice person. Honestly, good, good people. Yeah. <laughs> Holy that's the, shit. It's the shot we saw, right? At the end of The Walking Dead. What do you even, like... <laughs> that horse is gonna die. Oh. Damn, Just dude. There's bodies everywhere. That's wild. That's what... So she's the one who shot Okafer? Well, yeah, I mean, yeah it would make sense. dynamite? Yeah, right? <laughs> oh. <gasps> he did have gold teeth. Holy shit. Oh, no, 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 no. She got knocked off her horse by a zombie head. That shit friggin' went flying. What the? It's like the parting of the Red Sea. The zombie sea. The zombie sea? Aww. Wow. We didn't want to be afraid and stupid anymore. It turns out others felt the same way. <laughs> Good thing we weren't looking for you, huh? Wait with us while the whaling split. You see these fires? They're going to burn on either side of the valley for a while. Natty said you'd need a beer. Dude's never wrong. He's annoying as hell. <laughs> wow. That's cool. It was time to go a long time ago. I knew it. And look at that. You know, a lot of people felt the same way, and suddenly I had more than just the chemicals in my red wagon. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously, Michelle would have been done. I know how to build things, and I know how to burn things. But it takes more than that at the end of the world. It's a pyromaniac or what? You showed me that. I mean, he hasn't let that lighter go since we've met him. Take you as far as you need. When I get Rick, you'll come back home with me. You'll be a part of it. I'm gonna get you something to eat. No, no, I'm fine. I know. You need to eat. I think she's pregnant. You're pregnant. Uh, Fucking called it, bitch! Stop! <laughs> the way she is acting is too sus. It's a big step for us. Craving honey. And I was just hoping that we were gonna come across a hive at some point. Apparently, honey just never expires, I guess. I did not know that. Interesting. That's why, that's why he was out there. But I found him, and you found us. It's scary. We want to be there when you find Rick. No, you should go. We will, after you find Rick. I feel like something bad's gonna happen to her. So much almost there talk. Yep. We'll Planning, go, pl we'll any plans after, for the future yeah. result in something bad happening. What about all these people who came with you? They've gone up a letter grade, that's for sure, but not quite to like. Who else in your life? I mean, my mom. My dad wasn't in the picture. Supreme asshole didn't want a little, little kid. And I had bullies, a lot of them. So I started burning things. 
blowing things up in the woods. Great. Mom, she, uh, she met this guy. Called himself Danger, if you can believe it. This guy, with his stupid name, looked at that and said, Hell yes. There's something in the front. I got it. He married my mom. And right after he moved in, suddenly Danger had these problems he needed solved. You know, like, that he needed me to solve. Couldn't load his truck with his bum shoulders, so I built him a lift and runners out of stuff from the garage. I built him a temperature gauge. He could call on his phone to see if he left the stove on. A timer that shut off the sink so he wouldn't leave it running. Could he have loaded his truck? Did he forget to turn off the stove, the sink? Or did the son of a bitch focus me up on how I could build things instead of burn them? Oh, I didn't think, Oh. Sounds like you loved him. Well, shit, sure sounds like it. Well, I love you, Nat. Please hey, shut up. <laughs> oh. Michonne's face is exactly the face I would have if I saw a helicopter flying at this point in time during the apocalypse. Like, what? Oh, shit. Are you serious? What is that? Oh, no. Oh, no. Chemical weapons? Yikes, dude. Dude, that shit is everywhere. Can't even see if that's a walker or a person. Oh no. Oh man. She's pregnant. Holy shit. It's like, of course, Michonne comes across these good people that she helps and then they help her and now... Are they all dead? Is Nat in the middle of that fire trying to keep everybody away from him? Nat looked worse than anybody when she left. Holy sh- is he's- he's still alive. Thank you. Oh my god. I couldn't do it without him. <sighs> she was- she was right. When you can, you need to go home. It's been too long. He's gone. No! <laughs> That is so brutal. Dude, that smoke that they dropped on them destroys your respiratory gas. system. You can't breathe. Read about it as a kid. Chlorine oh. gas. 
the gas burnt out our lungs, our throats. It's gonna take a while to get better. <laughs> if we do get better. Holy shit, dude. She can't even, what is she trying to exercise? I told you, I knew when to go and I didn't and they all died. You gotta know when to go. You gotta know when to go. You gotta know when to give up. That guy, danger. He didn't give up, right? Didn't give up on you. You gotta think it was because of your mom. You gotta think it was because of love. <laughs> She's getting stronger. I say it every single time, and I probably sound like a broken record at this time in terms of this stage of the apocalypse. I'm still blown away when they find any resources this far in. Right. Like, this whole area that they're in right now was completely untouched. It's wild. Always impresses me. You coming? Is it about wanting to see how it ends? Nope. I know how it ends. Shit. I totally I thought that was going to be a different line. I thought he was going to say, like, I want to see how it begins. Oh, look at that. What does he know that we all don't know? Right. Are you going to share, or is that a spoiler? <laughs> is he going to spoil the whole end? <laughs> but smart Michonne, making the walkers do the work for you. <laughs> She's smart. Wow. Holy shit. Are those kids? I think it's just everybody. Just mounds of dead bodies. Holy shit. These people are all burnt up. Can't tell one from the other. And most of them, they don't have any shoes. I felt him. I still feel him. Your phone, you know what it says? The Japanese? Believe a little bit longer. You've been telling me to go home. You should, but you can still believe he's out there. It's been right in front of me, hasn't it? All this time, it's been right in front of me. It's been so long. If he were alive, he would have found his way. He tried. Believe me, he tried. You can believe he's out there, that he's not gone. You can believe a little longer and still go home to your kids. You can know when to go. You can do both. I can do it with you. I will. It's not giving up. Seriously, everybody needs a gnat in their life. Dude, so their stories are very parallel in the sense that it's like almost time to give up. And they almost like Rick almost gave. Well, Rick went with his situation and Nat was able to convince Michonne to not. It's them. Oh, God. So she was only with Nat when she. They're flying low as shit. Oh, they're going to take them out. Oh, I love this. Okay, so this is how it all... Okay. Holy shit. That's like a one in a million shot right there. Got him. Holy shit. And that's dude. how it happened. Wow.
You should go. We will, after you find Rick. <laughs> Oh, it came off. Oh, shit. And she took that one's off. Damn. There it is. Thank God that he had arm that. saved him. Yeah. Dude, the look on her face. <sighs> Nat doesn't realize it's him and just blows him up. Like, Rick, you realize you almost killed me? She's okay. Okay, then you have a boy. I'm not with them. I know. Yay. <sighs> Nat's like, hello? <laughs> if Nat's there, I think he knows who this is. <laughs> Based on how much she's talked about him. They're coming. More. One of them? Yes. Then we go. No, no, no. It's too late. They're coming. Say you have another name. That you came out of the forest and you saw the soldiers being attacked. You, you were a part of a community that fell. Don't show them who you are. What I am. Straw. A leader. You hide it. Holy so. <laughs> Oh shit. Go back with them. We, we have to. I promise. I've shown a promise. I'll make it so we get away. <laughs> Sean, is that him? <laughs> he, he's not with them. Well, how the hell? <gasps> no! No! Are you kidding me? You can still believe. <laughs> And no. Damn it. Well, we helped you get here. Yeah. Sorry. Do you have anything with you that can tell them about you or Alexandria? A journal, a, a radio, a phone, your boots. You need to say he had the sword. You took one of the soldiers' guns off the ground and you stopped him. You're gonna be separated, but I'll find you. I don't like this. I need to have my gun on you, and you need to put your hands up. They have to see that. Yeah, because he called in the attack, right? Don't call him Walker. Before they crashed. We will get away. This is fucked up. I love you. Oh shit, dude. I guess there really was no way of getting away from this. I hate that this is where this has to go. I thought it was going to be more along the lines of Dana. Michonne's people. I was in Georgia for a long time with my boyfriend and about 40 people. Some leaders that I thought were good. My sister Elle. And then things changed. They changed. I saw it. You always really know when to go. And what was your weapon of choice out there? Bow staff. Does it bother you that you're being observed? No, I just haven't seen myself in a while. This is a place of law. We are on a base in the outskirts of a city that is a remnant of the life we knew. Its security is our top priority, which means you can never leave. It's what I've been looking for. It's what I've been trying to believe in. She's doing a great job. She's a great actress. <laughs> Some alone time. They believed you. You're here. 
Well, she didn't notice that before, huh? It happened a long time ago. One of the last times I tried to get home. One of the last times? They had me trapped. They don't have me anymore. Get away. I mean, how do you get away from this group? Like, they're okay. She's okay. Yes. She's okay. And he's okay. She. <laughs> what is it? When we get away. No, she's okay. She's us, Rick. The rest when we get away. Oh, I don't think he. She wants to scramble his brain too much right now. Could we stop them? No. Could we try? We never get back. Sorry about your friend. He should have lived. They all should have lived. I'm here now. We're here together now. And we're gonna get home. I really hope no one's paying attention to any of this. Right. Who's watching the tape? Right. Isn't Jadis there? Oh, right. She would recognize Michonne. Right. Holy, oh, like, they got like legitimate army. Like, I think she now understands what Rick was saying. I mean, that's my biggest question is like, what do you do to get away from this situation? The literal fortress with the literal army. Hi, Rick. Oh. Sorry for breaking in. <laughs> Technically, this is an investigation, but I'm not filing paperwork. Let's continue to keep certain things between you and me, as we have. Been a while. You look good. Fucking Janus, dude. In a world where most people are dead, the living can continue to bump into each other. I can see that. Still, she found you. Oh, shit. If anyone could, she could. I mean, of course, it was her sword. But I'm keeping that off the books. What is her role in all this? Right. This doesn't fall under our longstanding deal. You have to know that if you try to escape with her, I will make sure that all those people that you love die. Fuck. Your haircut is stupid. Rick, what the fuck are you doing? She said fuck. Oh, that's where they're Come ending on. The, That's where they're ending the Come episode. On. I I mean uh, I don't have a full understanding of Jadis's role in all this, but I don't like it feels like she's high up. It feels like she's in a position of power, clearly, the way she was talking to Rick. Right, in her whole getup. I mean, we haven't seen her, because we didn't watch all the way through the world beyond. Before we, she just had terrible bangs. I mean, now we haven't old, seen her in a haircut. long time. Yeah. It's been a while since we've seen her. <laughs> and, I mean, watching all the recaps and doing all the homework on the shows that we didn't watch and the recaps, and, like, she's in them. So I knew she was there. And the moment someone started, well, like, why would someone be going back and watching that stuff? It had to be someone who knew her. No one else would go back and watch that otherwise. And the fact that now she mentioned this long, long standing agreement. And then she's like, what the fuck are you doing, Rick? So clearly he's going against that agreement. Yeah, I'm sure and, it's like a, you don't tell on me that I lied for you. Right. And you, you know, I let you live. I saved you. Now you need to keep everything else chill mm -hmm. and just do what you're told and just live your life through this place. And I wonder if Jadis was the one who was pushing Okafer to push Rick. That would make sense, right? Maybe, yeah. Two episodes in a row, well, the first two episodes, they introduced characters that were really cool and they killed them right away. Yeah. Okafer in episode one and then... Nah. He was... He was so great. I mean, I said it during the episode. Everybody needs a gnat in the zombie apocalypse because, I mean, it's damn near impossible all these years in to find people probably who are that optimistic mm -hmm. and that, like, positive and excited to meet new people because y'all know how I handle new people in The Walking Dead. 
done. I don't I don't ask a lot of questions. I don't trust anybody because And he had a skill. We've seen it too many times in this show where new mm. bring new people in and it just causes total chaos. I mean, Rick I usually know. does the chaos. That's but true. <laughs> I I loved just a little tangent, little plug, the recap guy. Yeah. I love how at the end of every season of recap, he was like, a burning ruin. They leave it in a burning ruin. They leave it in a burning, like left everything in a burning ruin. But I thought that was really funny. But just seeing the scope of what they have here, I don't know how Rick could feel so confident about getting, like, what else does he know about this place, about the situation, about the security that makes him feel like he could get away with Michonne? I don't know. Like, that's, that's one of my biggest questions right now. Because Michonne's like, can we stop him? He's like, no. Can we try? We won't get home. So like, he knows how dangerous it is to try to fight them because I think Michonne, once you got the glimpse, that wide shot of all their vehicles and all their resources, it's like, oh, okay, I get it. Like yeah, we're not, not gonna go anywhere. We're two people without any firepower and they have a literal army. That's my biggest question right now is why Rick feels I don't know if Rick feels confident about it. He's just pushing the idea that, like, we need to get out of there. Yeah. I thought it was interesting that Michonne didn't mention RJ. I think yeah, it makes but, sense like, to not get him. He's so riled up already. Yeah. Like, he's got to get home to Judith. Like, you can't tell him that, yeah. oh, hey, by the way, you also have another kid. Right. Then he's going to panic. Right. And want to get out of there faster than he already does. I mean, you know he wants to get the fuck out of there. Yeah, like, he's so already fast. not clear of yes. thought. Yeah. So I can understand that up, why she you think she was going to, she was going and to, and then she paused, right? She held back yeah. on that one. She's like, eh, no, she's fine. She's fine. She's us. Yeah. We're good. It's fine. That would probably cause a little bit more chaos in the brain for sure. Yeah. And cause him to get a little like, more. I have a baby spat. that I yeah. need to get home to. Seeing the other side of the story. I for sure thought Michonne had like a group of people with them. Yeah. I mean, the way those projectiles were, I mean, that shit was amazing. The way Nat was able to like create the little harness and was like set in the field. MacGyver. And boom, like, he was MacGyvering he, the whole thing. He very much reminded me of Eugene when it comes to like being able to put shit together. Yeah. Like that was going through my brain the whole time. I was like, oh, he's like a new Eugene. Like, let's keep this dude around. And then he was like super happy and optimistic and then he died. That sucked. So fucked up. That was horrible. Yep. I just, I think the show's done a really good job. I, obviously they did a lot of foundation building through these first two episodes to give us the full story of what Rick's doing, gave us the full story of what Michonne was up to. And I mean, watching them blast those folks with that gas. The chloride gas. That was disgusting. Chlorine, chlor chlorine, chlorine gas. Something like that. Where it just absolutely rips. Burns your insides. Yeah. Basically. And it burns your lungs and your, yeah, sinuses, everything. Your entire respiratory system is just destroyed. And the fact that she was able, like, and I'm always going to question it every time. It's just me, who I am. The fact that she was able to find those oxygen tanks and find resources, unbelievable to me. Like, I find that absolutely amazing, especially so close to where they were bombing. You would have, have to figure that people ransacked that stuff and scavenged all of it. But there was still stuff around. And that's always going to shock me every single time. And just food, plenty of food. Yeah, fine. for sure. So, I mean, that whole situation is just brutal and what the CRM are actually doing to people. Because they just saw them and was like, doom, take them out. There was no, like, landing and questioning and talking, seeing if there are resources potentially. Nope. They just went straight down there and dropped those bombs and over. But, yeah, I mean, seeing it all lead up to the point of Rick and Michonne meeting, episode one cuts to black. This one, we got to see it play out. And just seeing, I mean, Michonne's face when she sees him for the first I time. Know. I almost cried a couple of times. I mean, you were there. I, kept them I felt in. it. I, I sensed it. I felt it. Oh, God. But it it's tough. just, it, it was incredible just to see them together again and just embrace and just love each other. And I mean, just the fact that there was no question. There was no question. He was like, I'm not with them. She's like, I know. Like, there was no question at all. And it just sucked that. But that he's scared of them. Well, of course. He's yeah, horrified. That's that's not something you like seeing your partner go through. Mm -hmm. Just being absolutely terrified. Like, are we going to be okay? Are right. you good? Like, yeah. we got to get out of here. It's like, you can't. Right I now. for sure thought under the circumstances that it was going to be Michonne's group taking in Rick, not trusting Rick. I mean, obviously, we didn't know how many people Michonne was with. So she was only with one other person at the time. I didn't even think about the idea of Rick's people. Well, it's not Rick's people, but the group that Rick's with taking Michonne in. 
and him being able to be like, do you have anything that can link us together? Do you have any proof? You got to lie about your name. You can't call them walkers because that's what I call them. Like that even the idea that Michonne had to go through that. She nailed that process, by the way. Yeah. It just sucks that Janus is there, recognizes her, knows them and Rick and just the fact that she even threatened Rick and everyone else that is back home. She even was like, I'll even do it to the people I care about, too. Like, the people I like a little bit. You're an asshole. It's just, I mean, I think she has bought into the system. Yes, and she she's obviously, scared of what will happen to her. Of course. Yeah. I, I feel like it's gotten to a point where she's gotten high enough in the ranks to where she's obviously got enough power and control to do certain things. Yeah. But she's still like, this is it. This is the life. This is where my future is. I do what I got to do to survive here. And... Yeah, I mean, she put herself on the line enough with Rick lying about that and trying to get him through the system with Okafer and trying to, like, get things changed. Because I still, I fully believe that this whole idea of change is coming from Jadis. You think? I don't know if it was just an Okafer personal rogue thing that he saw something in Rick. It would be too convenient. Right. For him to, like, be training Rick and be like, oh, my God, this guy's actually amazing. I feel like it would be something that came down from Jadis to be like, hey, by the way... This dude's pretty badass. We could finally get the change that we want. He's the dude to do it. And we're in a position to like sneak him in as a B yeah. and just kind of get him through the system and then we can make changes. It feels like that's the situation. And I think Jadis probably is a little worried that that plan might get a wrench thrown in it now that Michonne's there and Rick is probably not focused on any of that other stuff. So it's going to be interesting to see where this goes now within the story because now that they're together, the story could just roll on next four episodes and see where it goes and see what happens because I just don't know how they're going to do it. Yeah. I, like, even if you get in touch with the people back home, it's like you're not going to be able to bring enough reinforcements to take out an army. No. Like, it's just not a thing. Yeah. So, I don't know. I, I'm super intrigued. I thought that episode felt really good. These first two episodes have been great. Yes, I agree. It definitely feels amazing to have Rick and Michonne back together. Yep. I mean, Rashone, you know. Rashone. It's the greatest <laughs> I thing I haven't ever. heard that in a while. It's the best thing. So, yeah, yeah another really good episode. Mm -hmm. Any other thoughts? Yeah. All right, y'all. You guys, share all your thoughts. Leave your comments down below. We'll catch you later for the next one. Have a good one. Bye.